Alrighty, today we are going to be working with rational expressions. A rational expression is the quotient of two polynomials. It is in simplest form when its numerator and denominator have no common divisors. All right, so what you're gonna be doing today is simplifying a radical expression. So we are going to write the expression we're going to be first thing you're going to be doing today is simplifying expressions so we're going to start here with uh, x squared plus 7x plus 10 And in the denominator, we got x squared minus 3x minus 10. All right. So this thing is not in simplest form yet. So we got to put it in simplest form. And the first thing that you do to put these trinomials in simplest form is you rewrite them in their factored form. So we're going to re rewrite the numerator as x plus 5 times x plus 2. And then we're going to rewrite the denominator as x minus 5 times x plus 2. Now, since both the numerator and the denominator have a common factor of x plus 2, these can cancel each other out. And what we're left with is x plus 5 in the numerator over x minus 5 in the denominator. That is your simplest form. So in short, a factor of the trinomial, cancel common factors, and rewrite. So if we got 24, let's see, 24. x to the third y squared over negative six x squared y to the third
in the long run right here, this six goes into 24 evenly, all right? So if we rewrite 24 as six times four, x to the third can be written as x times x times x, and y squared can be written as y times y. In the denominator, we got this negative six. And then this x squared can be written as x times x. And y to the third can be written as y times y times y. So we can start canceling out, all right? These sixes cancel each other out. The negative sign stays though, so don't forget about it. This X cancels with this one, this one and this one. Then the Y's, we got one, two in the numerator, canceled one, two in the denominator. So now we can kind of put this thing back together. So in the numerator, we got four times X, which is four X. And in the denominator, we've got this negative sign and a Y. So the negative sign can move to right here and the Y stays in the denominator. So that is your simplest form. Let's do 12 minus four X. over x squared minus nine. Again, we're gonna to factor the top. All right, this top, this 12 and 12 and four x, both have a four in them. So we can factor out a four times, oh, this is gonna be three minus x. And in the denominator, x squared minus nine factors to x plus three times x minus three. All right, so what we're gonna do here in this top is we're gonna factor out a negative four in the top. And when we factor out a negative four, we're gonna do that so that this can be a negative three and this could be a positive X. And then we can rewrite this top as negative four times since this is a positive X, we can put it first, keep it positive. And this is a negative three, so it goes right here. And then in the denominator, we still got X plus three times X minus three. So again, we're gonna cancel these common factors out. And what we're left with here is the negative four makes the whole fraction negative. So we're gonna go negative four over X plus three. That's the first part of your assignment today. In the second part of your assignment, you're gonna be multiplying these rational expressions. So it's basically multiply and simplify. So if we got X squared, and I'll tell you what, when you write these, 
you'll save a lot of time if you leave yourself a lot of room between problems. And here's what I mean. Let's move this down here. So we're going to go x squared plus x minus 6 over x minus 5 times x squared minus 25 X over x squared plus 4x plus 3. All right. First step again here is to factor everything. And again, if you leave enough room, you can just put the factors of each trinomial or binomial right above them. It saves a lot of writing. I'm going to factor this first numerator too. This is going to factor x plus 3 times x minus 2. The bottom is in simplest form. x squared minus 25 factors to x plus 5 times x minus 5. And this denominator down here factors to x plus 3 times x plus 1. So now, when you're multiplying these rational expressions, you can cancel vertically, and you can also cancel diagonally, all right? So here's what I mean. This x plus 3 up here in the top left, this x plus 3 cancels with this x plus 3. This x minus 5 will cancel with this x minus 5. Now, there's nothing left to cancel vertically on either side. So in simplest form, this would be x minus 2 times x plus 5 over x plus 1. There's your simplest form. All right, if you had a, um, let's say you got an 8x to the fourth, and it's over 10y, and you're multiplying it by 14y over, let's see, 16x. To the sixth. Now again, you can you can cancel vertically, and you can cancel diagonally. So this eight goes into itself once, and it goes into this sixteen two times. With this ten and this fourteen, all right, two goes into ten five times, and two goes into fourteen seven times. This y cancels with this y. This x to the fourth up here cancels with this x to the sixth. x to the fourth goes into itself once and it goes into x to the sixth x squared times. Now you've canceled everything you can diagonally and vertically. So in this numerator, we got 1 times 7, which is 7. In the denominator, we got 5 times 2x squared, which is going to be 10x squared. And that is your simplest form. Clear? Questions? All right. Here's your practice for today. It's on page 531.
problems eight through 19. As usual, if you're in class, they're going in the basket. You e-learners are going to email me a picture upon completion. E-learners, this uh, page has been uploaded to the resources tab on focus. So you guys are excused at this time to go complete your assignment.